In today's video, we are going to talk about Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, everything you need to know. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, I'll start with the interface. As you can see, this is how it looks like. And now we have new desktop background by default. Other than that, we have all the same things in here. But the major difference is in the dock. Now we have more applications docked by default. And not only that, you can do some setting with respect to your dock as well. Let me right click onto my screen. If I go to my settings, and now if I go to my appearance and under the dock here, I have an option that says auto hide the dock. If you just disable this option, we will have dock appeared every time onto our screen. But if you enable this option, now it has been removed. It will only appear if you are using it. If I just move my application onto the right side, here you can see it has appeared once again. So this is a one big change that have been added. After the interface, now I'll talk about the support. Well, Ubuntu 22.04 is a long term support and it will receive the ongoing app updates and the critical security fixes for the next five years from release and the new Linux kernel releases and the graphic driver updates as well as the new software updates will roll out after every six months or so. And as we know that Ubuntu will get support till 2027. It is likely that extended support maintenance will offer updates for a further three to five years. And the good news is in 2024, it will be possible to upgrade Ubuntu 22.04 LTS to your Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and user will be able to upgrade to Ubuntu 22.10 later this year. So that's a really good thing. Now I'll talk about some of the features. Well, now Ubuntu uses Wayland as a default display server. Yes, even if you are using NVIDIA or you are an NVIDIA user, it is still using Wayland. That's a good thing. And in terms of desktop background, it is using Genome 42. Let me go to my about section. And here you can see here it says Genome version 42.0. So that's a really good thing. Now we have multitasking settings that is available with the help of Genome 42. Let me go to the settings of my Ubuntu and from here I will go to the multitasking which is right here. With the help of this multitasking if you enable your hot corner you do not need to click on activities button to open and see all the activities. You just need to hover towards the top left corner of your open application and it will show you all the activities or it will bring the activities areas. So that's a really good thing. Earlier, without the Genome 42, this feature was not available. And now, Ubuntu have added the Enable or Disable option for your animation. For that, if I go to my Accessibility, and here we have an option that says Enable Animation. You can disable it or you can enable it as per your liking. Other than that, you can change the position of your desktop icons. And to do so, just go to your Appearance and under the Desktop Icons, here we have position of new icons. Just click on this drop down arrow and from here you can select the position where you want to have your desktop icons. I'll go with the top left because in most of the Linux distribution, we get everything on the top left corner. Other than our position of desktop icons, now we have trash in dock available as well. For example, here you can see we have trash available now you can disable it from here as well to do so again go to your appearance scroll down and click on configure dock behavior and here it says show trash if i just disable this option now we do not have trash available into our dock other than that you can click on include unmounted volumes include network volumes as well so this is how you can have more options in terms of your dock i will just get out of this and now I'll talk about new wallpapers that have been added or got shipped with Ubuntu 22.04. For that purpose, I'll go to my backgrounds and here we have different backgrounds that have been shipped by default. This is the default one and the official one. 
we have the same one with different color in here as well and this is how it looks like i'll go back to my settings i'll choose the default one once again so this is how you can have your new wallpaper for your desktop i will just move ahead and now i will talk about the new logo yes ubuntu has a new logo and it is visible everywhere in your ubuntu 22.04 you will see it while the booting of your system on your login screen on your lock screen and even on the about page let me go to the about section here it is and here we have a new logo of ubuntu other than these things ubuntu have improved software center and they have revamped it let me just close this one i will just open my software center and here you can see that ubuntu now have revamped and improved the interface of it as you can see now it is more sharp and things are arranged in better way if you scroll down here we have categories and all the categories are looking more sharp and they are in more arranged and revamped way and now we have news and update section and we have everything looking new and more cleaner i will just get out of this and now i'll talk about firefox well this is my mozilla firefox and now it will be included as a snap package by default you can still have your firefox by the dev package by downloading it separately but ubuntu recommends you to have snap one now i'll talk about some of the applications well the first one is screenshot and screen casting i will just search for screen and here we have take a screenshot if i just click on it they have improved it a lot as you can see now we have more control available in here and it is more user friendly as it is more easy to understand you can select the screen of which you want to take a screenshot you can increase the size you can decrease it and other than that you can take the screenshot of a whole screen just like this one you can select the selection and you can have windows if you have more than one other than that same goes for screen casting if you just click on this option you can select the area that you want to screencast after that just click on this record button and it will start the process i'll go back to screenshot and i will take the screenshot of this and after you take your screenshot you can paste the image or the screenshot that you have just captured from your clipboard and in case if you want to see where your screenshots are just open your files and go to your pictures and here we have our screenshots available you can just open them you can delete them and you can do anything with them as per your liking let me just get out of this and now we have a new version of our grub into our ubuntu 22.04 let me open my terminal and i'll show you that what version we have now this is my terminal and i will write here grub hyphen install space hyphen hyphen version and i will just hit enter so now we have 2.06 version available into our ubuntu 22.04 so these were some of the major updates that have been done in ubuntu 22.04 now i'll talk about some other changes well there are few other changes that you will see in terms of software offering and there are some new version of most of the prominent software for example in terms of open ssl we have 3.0 in terms of our ruby we'll get 3.0 in terms of our python we'll get 3.10 for php we'll have 8.1 and for our gcc we will get 11 so these are some of the updates that have been done in other aspect and that was all about today's video and that brings us to the end of this video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care